hello students let's try to understand one more problem what is the problem student the problem is something a metal x combined with a non metal y by the transfer of electron to form compound z okay they are going to form the compound z student then what they are saying is state the type of bond formed between formed in compound z they are asking the problem right so let's try to understand student what can be the our answers right so students if x combined with this is the x metal they are saying that is metal and y is non metal okay non metal so between metal and non metal electron form, bond formed by transfer of electron so that is going to be what a student ionic bond that is very simple it is going to be ionic bond that is what first answer so x being metal losses electron and y being non metal gains electron to form z the chemical bond formed by the transfer of electron from one atom to another known as ionic bond hence z is ionic compound okay so state the type of bond form z is ionic bond second one what can you say about the melting point and boiling point of the compound z it will be very high ionic compound have very high melting point and boiling point the compound z is ionic compound thus it has high melting and boiling point will this compound dissolve in kerosene no kerosene and petrol are they are the covalent student they are the covalent and this is what is that is ionic compound so ionic compound cannot dissolve in kerosene and petrol so ionic compound are insoluble in non polar solvent such as kerosene and petrol fourth one will the compound be good conductor of electricity A student when you talk about in the electricity in aqueous state it is soluble so here you see student as z is uh, z is an ionic compound it does not conduct electricity in the solid state because movement of ion in the solid state not possible due to their rigid structure but it conduct electricity in the molten state or in aqueous solution due to the movement of ions freely so it conduct electricity in the molten state or in aqueous solution due to movement of ions freely so aqueous aqueous it is there na student aqueous and molten okay molten so in the molten state conductor it will be conductor but it is the solid state it is going to be insulator so this is all about the answer student thank you so much for watching friends